Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous, my adventures. And we're going to do another planetary exploration. It's just left. Over to the next planet that has the blue ring around it, meaning we can land on it. Is this landing? There's our destination up there, Birmingham World. As soon as the mass lock goes out. Appreciate you coming along. Please make sure you look to the lower right hand corner of the video and hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. It's free. And I know some have a, a problem giving out free subscriptions. It's kind of amazing. But we need subscriptions. So please press that and underneath the video in the description you'll see ways to turn your subscription to public so I can verify your subscription you send me an email then I will give you access to up to and maybe even over 50 early access videos right now it's about two weeks before, after we create a video that it's released to the general public. We let our subscribers view it first. Through early access. So please press the subscribe and then mark it as public and then send me an email. You can also donate and get early access videos. And you can join our Patreon page at patreon.com slash gfm underscore rdg. And actually, that's the fastest way to get a hold of the uh, pre-release videos. Because as soon as we create them and publish them as private with a scheduled date of 15 days out, we uh, release those to our subscribers so we like the sunny side of things so we're going to uh, look for our sunny side up on this planet there's the sunny side I'm just check it out because that's what we like doing we like checking the planets out there's the RGFC how about that we do have those that are stacking up kind of behind us So we could be interdicted. Hmm. 
we will just have to deal with it if it happens. And be sure to look under the video to the far left and you'll see our YouTube channel GFM underscore RDG where there's over 970 more videos to watch. Dropping out of super cruise and going into a glide. What we like to do is just come out and see what we can see. Collect some raw materials. Give you a video reference of each planet and each station. Watch our altitude. Make sure we don't descend too fast before we're ready. Do appreciate you coming along. Make sure you press that subscribe button, mark it as public, and in the description I explain how you can do that. Sys alternate, Sys landing, try to feather down, not slam into the planet. So a little rough, so we'll just kind of keep going until we find a spot. See if we can make that spot. Sit down. Sit down. Make sure everything's working. Seems to be. Sis ship. Ship dismissed. The 
ship will go into orbit or it will dock with the RGFC. And we go looking for raw materials or anything else that pops up on our sensor. Like I said, I do appreciate you coming along. It's just dark. Turn down our lights and though we're not too obvious if someone passes by looking to do us harm. As you know, I'm more of an explorer, not to do me harm. <laughs> Someday I might be a better uh, combat pilot, SRV driver, whatever. But it has the reward has to be pretty good. Or it's just not worth it. Some of you might be great combat pilots. Keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. Over this hill. Yeah, the gravity is pretty heavy. You just fall to the ground. Some arsenic in there. We will be attending a uh, our, the three material traders before we leave the planet. Well, there's one around here somewhere. Okay, there it is. That's what I was trying to get to. Well, it's supposed to be in front of us. And we just lost our tracking. Yeah, it's underneath the ground. Or very tiny. Yep, Oculus is a mess. Everything went hazy. And it's because it lost its tracking. And why it goes hazy when it loses its tracking, I don't have any idea. There's a lot of stuff Oculus has done. I don't have any idea why they did, why, why they're doing what they're doing. Cause it's a train wreck. Not very pleased. It cannot keep tracking. Now we lose the quality of our video when it loses tracking. There's a lot of train wrecks in gaming. <laughs> you know, they throw stuff out, but they never fix anything. Or very rarely fix things. Then everybody has to complain over and over and over again to finally get them to fix something. And Oculus, I mean, I've had this Rift S for over a year and the tracking stinks. It loses tracking at least once a day, usually four or five times a day. Just totally loses it. Why it can't just say, oh, I can't find it, but I'll keep looking. And when it finds the tracking again, it, you know, goes back to normal. But nope, it, when it loses it, it's gone. You have to reboot the Oculus software. I'm constantly rebooting the Oculus software. <laughs> you know, up to 10 times a day. Because it just constantly loses it. I like the uh, external sensors better that we had in the original Rift. 
it didn't lose tracking nearly as much as the Rift S does. Yep, I will not be buying Oculus the next time. <laughs> we will go with someone else because can't be any worse than Oculus. Hopefully with Facebook buying Oculus they'll fix it. Because Oculus needs a lot of work. And I do think uh, Frontier has cut back on the interdictions just a little. It's been a while since I've seen seven interdictions. I do have videos on seven interdictions and one super cruiser. And I haven't had that many in a while. Now I've done things to try to minimize the number of interdictions. Like taking missions to only one station. when you press the targeting on uh, in this game you have to press it multiple times to get it to select the target that you want it to what you're looking at they want to select the furthest one or the one that you're not even close to looking at <laughs> yeah it can be a train wreck too there's many things in Elite Dangerous that's a train wreck that I'm not fond of. I actually like No Man's Sky and Subnautica even more than Elite Dangerous, but we get most of our views from uh, Elite Dangerous viewers. So we keep making them. Well, my... Uh Late Dangerous crash too, so I just rebooted Oculus at the same time. Yep, that's what I gotta put up with all the time. <laughs> it's just dark. Yeah, all kinds of issues. You gotta wait for the sensor to regenerate. Yeah, my Elite Dangerous crashes several times a day too. I'm not fond of that either. Part of the issue with Elite Dangerous, it has to be connected to their server at all times. If it ever disconnects from their server, it'll crash. So you want to make sure they control your game's experience completely. Because they know what's best for you. They'd make good dictators. <laughs> Oh my gracious. Our good narcissists anyway. They know what's best for everybody. Just like how they keep nerfing the, uh, the asteroid mining because they know what's best. You shouldn't make that much money. Make that many credits. And that's best for you. Or that's what they say. about No Man's Sky and Subnautica there's things you can do including mods to customize the game based on how you like to play so that's what I like better about those programs those games see in Elite Danger if they catch you modding you're banned they ban you instantly and uh, you can't customize your game in pretty much in any way. 
You have to play exactly the way they want you to play at all times. If you don't like it, too bad. So, yeah, I'm not fond of that. I'd like to have more options in how I get to play. Or the type of play that I like. And 25 million a week for the fleet carrier update upkeep? That's too high. Way too high. Maybe 5 million a week. But 25 million a week? That's just way too much. Not fond of that. And any interdictions, I'm not fond of. I'd like to turn those off. There should be a setting that says low, medium, high, and non-stop. So those purists that are those apologists that just love Frontier no matter what they do, maybe they can just do non-stop uh, interdictions. <laughs> And the targeting, yeah, it's a mess. There's a lot of mess. But please look to the lower right hand corner and press that subscribe button. That's what we need more than anything from our viewers right now. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Everybody acts like it costs them. Because it's hard to get subscriptions out of people. Even though they're free. And you can give out 2,000 of them. And they still, most people have a terrible time giving out their 2,000 subscriptions. And that's how you support your uh, content creators that you watch. That's how YouTube rates them is on subscriptions. And it's terrible. <laughs> it's real terrible the way they rate us. Because they know it's hard to get subscriptions out of people. That's why they do that. They don't want to support anybody. <laughs> you have to be on for years most of the time to get any kind of support. I mean, we have over 21,000 views. And we've had over 9,000 different people just in the last 90 days to view our videos. And we still have a terrible time getting subscri subscriptions. Amazes me. Now in the last week we've gotten more. Maybe because I've pleaded more. And uh, made, made a few people feel guilty or something. But you need to support the channels you watch. It's not free. I mean, the hours that the content creators put in to create these videos for you. I mean, it eats up all their time. So that's not free. I mean, it's free to you, but it's not free for them. Somebody's paying. And their time or an effort and... You should reward them with your up to 2,000 subscriptions that you get for free. That's why we've created early access videos for our subscribers. Because we appreciate our subscribers and we want to reward them. And that targeting cannot stay on the target. It's amazing. All this advanced technology and the targeting cannot stay on the target. 
Amazing. Well, that's part of that obstacle course. And that frontier loves. Everything has to be an obstacle. Can't be reality. Yeah, we do have some upper level blip, but it's probably very far away. I'm going to have to go for a while to get there. We're about ready to end this video and start up another one for another planet. And see, I practice what I preach because I have subscribed over 700 different uh, YouTube channels. See, I'm trying to help the content creators. And I'm just asking for my viewers to join me in supporting our content creators. I mean, if I can subscribe to over 700, you can subscribe to more than a few. <laughs> That's what's bad, too, is because I've subscribed to over 700, and less than 5% of those will return the favor. We're in this, it's all about me society. And, and I guess people don't care. Now some do, and I appreciate that. Some that I have subscribed to, they've subscribed to my channel. But most don't. 90% don't. They, they like that you subscribe to their channel, they just don't subscribe to anybody else's channel. It's it all about me. Yeah, the lights are off. So join me in supporting the channels that you watch. You have 2,000 subscribes that you can use, and they're all free. They don't cost you anything. So my goal is to find 2,000 subscribers, or some content creators, to subscribe to. That I like their channels. Now I do keep it mainly to uh, new and small content creators the ones I subscribe to. I'm trying to help out the new, the little guys. I know everybody loves big corporations and they only want the big guys to survive. That's the way everybody acts. Only the ones with hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers are the only ones you want to subscribe to. Well, I subscribe to the small ones. I try to do my part. Okay, we got a crashed ship. There is some material though, and there's some uh, occupied escape pods. And uh, like I've said before, I would pick up the uh, the occupied escape pods if. Uh, they were real players. But they're NPCs. Well, I appreciate you coming along. Hopefully you'll come along again. Hopefully you will help support the small content creators like my channel. 
and how I'm trying to support over 700 other small content creators by subscribing to their their uh, YouTube channels too. So if you all joined me, all 21,000 that would support the uh, small content creators, it would make a really huge difference. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you uh, consider donating and join my Patreon page and watch more of our videos. We have over 970 videos. Sis ship. Find out where it lands. Where it goes, nobody knows. And why it goes. Usually as far as it goes. <laughs> nobody knows. have had them come down and put down their landing gear and then take off again. <laughs> I've had them do that before too. Like, where are you going? Is this down? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.